Up to 7 million people suffer from gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD. Unfamiliar with the term? Keep watching. GERD, or acid reflux disease, occurs when there is a backflow of acid from the stomach into the esophagus. Although heartburn is a frequent symptom of GERD, a bout of heartburn does not mean that a person has the disease. In fact, GERD is only diagnosed when the reflux of stomach acid causes pain that is severe enough to impact a person's life on a regular basis and that is injurious to the esophagus. To understand acid reflux disease, it helps to have a basic grasp of how the stomach works and how heartburn occurs. When you swallow, food passes down the throat through a long tube, the esophagus, to the stomach. A muscular valve called the lower esophageal sphincter, or LES, opens to allow food into the stomach and then closes again. At this point, the stomach releases strong acids to help break down the food you've eaten. But in patients with GERD, the LES relaxes when it shouldn't or becomes weak, allowing stomach acid to reflux or seep upward almost constantly. While occasional bouts of heartburn are common and generally harmless, frequently occurring acid reflux can greatly damage the esophagus in the long run. Esophagitis, or inflammation of the esophagus lining, is a condition that occurs in about 20% of GERD sufferers. It can lead to difficult, painful swallowing and, on occasion, ulcers. Another more serious side effect of GERD is esophageal stricture, a narrowing of the esophagus which is caused by the body repeatedly attempting to repair reflux damage. Esophageal stricture can cause difficulty swallowing, food regurgitation, and severe weight loss. Another negative consequence of GERD is Barrett's esophagus, a condition in which the body changes the structure of the cells lining the esophagus. This occurs due to the body's repeat attempts to heal acid damage. The problem with these disorders of the esophagus is that many people just believe they have heartburn and are unaware of the more serious consequences of GERD. Take Stephen, a patient who came to my office complaining about his acid reflux. Stephen had suffered painful bouts of heartburn almost every day for a year before he came to my office, and it's a good thing he did. While he just wanted a quick fix for heartburn, an endoscopy showed that Stephen had Barrett's esophagus, an early warning sign for esophageal cancer. This last and most serious result of GERD is rare, but esophageal cancer has very few symptoms and is quite difficult to treat. If you have recurrent episodes of heartburn that do not go away and don't respond to over-the-counter treatment, you may be suffering from GERD. Avoid these severe consequences by talking to your doctor about treatment options. Want to learn more? Check out other videos and sources on this site for more information.